It is another Saturday day. <laughs> Good evening, folks. I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure it's it is Saturday night. Okay. Got to have the okay for Mrs. Old Guy before I know for sure that I'm on the right day. <laughs> so, sweet and oh no, hot and sour. Guess not sweet, but no. hot and sour soup on the menu tonight. And lemon meringue pie. Uh, took the dessert vote this week, so there's lemon meringue pie involved in tonight's live stream. <laughs> you got anybody in the room there yet, Mrs. Obey? Oh, holy smokes. We got Jessica. Jessica, good evening. Steve. Steve, happy Saturday. John. John, hey man, hope you're doing okay. Miguel. Miguel, good evening, sir. Jared. Jared, Jared. Wow, good evening, sir. Uh, Greg. <laughs> Greg Wells, the man from the future. You know what's the, the cool power? about the man from the future is he can tell you stuff that happened in the past because he's from the future go ahead ronald <laughs> ronald good evening sir hot and sour so, uh, natalie natalie Four. on your break jared says i love hot and sour soup and jessica says sorry for bringing uh, sorry for being absent, had stuff going on, but I'm back. How are you both doing? Oh, we're doing well, and no need to apologize. Believe me, uh, real life always comes first before hanging out with an old guy on Saturday night. So, no, no problem. I'm glad to have you back uh, whenever you can. So, says, uh, I know it's been a while. Sorry, hello. Jessica says, <laughs> that's okay, man. Like, you know, it's summer. Uh, people are out doing stuff. I mean, it's been nothing but work all summer yep. here. Uh, started in the spring, and it just kept right on going. And finally, um, my friend Ed, Eddie, is outside, and he's uh, putting up the last few sheets of the uh, sheet metal for the roof extension, and that is it done for the season. <laughs> so, Eli, Eli, hey, good evening. I guess, um, so I need to, to let you guys know that lemon meringue pie was one of those desserts that I, I just couldn't do in a two hour time frame. Uh, it just, it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> At least not, you know, now maybe if I had a blast freezer or something, I maybe might have, so anyway, I made it yesterday, so the dessert is done, ready to go, all I've got is soup, so uh, we might have a little extra time to play around tonight, so Natalie just to say. He says, what do you call a reluctant potato? A reluctant potato. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. A hesitator. <laughs> I like that. I like them taters now. I like cake. I like taters. We say tater all the time. Like, uh, this is a bell pepper tater. Onion tater. Knife tater. Sesame seed oil tater. <laughs> we do it all the time. <laughs> there ain't nothing you can't put tater behind. Or after. <laughs> behind or after, whichever you prefer to say a tater. <laughs> okay, enough of such foolishness. Hello to Doug, hello to Shar. I hope everybody has had a great week. Uh, thank you for coming in tonight. Next week, I'm just going to say it now and I'll mention it again later, uh, is a dinner requested from man from the future, Greg Wells. Uh, steak, potato, and salad. Mm. 
So that sounds really good. All right, I'm going to start this soup. I'm hungry. It's been one of those days, so. Jessica yeah. wants to know what your favorite soup is: first clam chowder and ch cheddar broccoli. My favorite soup. I, th I suppose my favorite soup is potato soup, uh, like cream of potato with some, you know, bacon and onion and whatnot. And then uh, I do like cheese soup. I'd have to say beer cheese soup would come in a pretty close second. Yeah. So. All right. So I got four cups of beef stock there, and I'm just gonna. Well, all right. That's getting a little ahead of myself. I don't need it exactly hot yet. <laughs> John says chili pepper tater. Chili pepper tater. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh, also, uh, I thought I'd try it. We went to a yard sale and got a box full of old, old you kit kitchen utensils. And I came across this... Um, Six star <laughs> chop and serve, a little made in China thing. Okay, so I thought I'd see how well it worked on vegetables compared to this uh, little knife uh, that I got on Timu. <laughs> so I thought, what the hell, might as well see what either one of these can do, if anything how comfortable they are to use, what not. This one feels a little awkward, i got to tell you. So, all right. It's not going to take a lot of these. It is just soup for two. Eli says he's having ham and Swiss with dates, pickles, brown mustard on a French roll. That sounds great. Hey, we do sandwiches. We do sandwiches. Adventures with goats. Adventures with goats. Well, good evening, sir. Glad you are here. We are playing around with a little bit of hot sour soup. Uh, I'm going to vary a little bit from the recipe just because Mrs. Old Guy and I are not especially fond <laughs> of mushrooms. So uh, it may not be to a lot of people that's like, well, it's not hot and sour soup then. But. That's just how I'm going to roll. Darren <laughs> says he's doing okay now, but in the beginning of the week he got hit with a softball. Oh, That's bummer. Not good. No, I've, I've been hit by softballs. They're not, it's not a pleasant experience. <laughs> Getting hit with a lot of balls can hit hurt pretty good. Jessica says, nice day. <laughs> yeah. Well, it actually is, yeah, it's doing okay to cut this veg up. Because he hates mushrooms? Yeah, I'm not fond of them. Uh, I will use them in my marinara, you know, when I'm making it. But uh, let me put it to you this way. I would rather have it cooked into things like sauces and so forth than in, you know, in pieces in a soup or on top of a pizza, you know, just, just not for this guy. All right, so let's just throw these in. Just gonna do a quick rough chop. This is no, you know, if I wanted it perfect, I'd go to a restaurant and you guys wouldn't see me. Ventures with goat said, yum. And Greg says, I love mushrooms. Swiss browns are the bomb. Okay. Now, I have had mushroom that was just phenomenal. Uh, I was very young. My then sister-in-law, a really nice Korean lady, her and her friend were in the forest um, looking for mushrooms while us guys were fishing, and uh, man, they made this, I don't know what to call it, but it was really good. <laughs> Joshua, sir? 
Joshua, good evening. Now you're going to try this little thing. Jessica says, after the cooking class is all done, can we see the dogs if we're able to? Just wondering, your dogs are very cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're sleeping right now. Sleeping right now, yep. All right, well. The guy we have working on our house ain't really fond of dogs, so they have to stay in the house, and now they're bored. Or Awesome. Oh, you know, speaking of shows and whatnot, uh, Arthur, for those of you that have been around for a while uh, that know Arthur, he is uh, a friend of mine, young gentleman that lives down the road. And uh, <coughs> through him, I met uh, a gentleman named Tony Schweckel. Um, here in a bit, this little guy will put a link for his bio, but he's a filmmaker. Um, been in the sh in film industry for for a long time. <laughs> uh, and I have an opportunity to um, uh, play a character in one of his, or in a new pilot for a series that he hopes someone will pick up. So um, I'm pretty excited for the opportunity. So. Yep, I'll put that up here in just a second. Yep. Uh, Metro with Goat said that he's been a chef for many years. Uh, Greg Wells said ma magic mushies. No, no magic mushies. Eli said, I love mushrooms. They make me see sound. They make me see <laughs> well, <laughs> let me just say this isn't the object of the meal. <laughs> I suppose if I wanted that to happen, it could happen. This is Colorado and it is legal, so. Adventures with Dope says, I can't stay long tonight. I just wanted to pop in for a view. I wish there was smell of vision now. <laughs> yeah, me too. But, you know, that's all right. I'm just glad you were able to uh, have a few drop by, you know, say hey to the old guy. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, this is going to be a pretty simple thing tonight. <laughs> and that's all right. Great laugh, that's about the magic mushies. Jessica said, I love ghost hunting YouTube. Have you heard of CJ? CJ, they know. F A I S I O. I guess that's how you pronounce it. No, that, that isn't the name that's familiar to me. Got a little fresh ginger. Let's put some ginger in there. So, I've, what I've got just some onions, some carrot, red bell pepper. I'm going to work on some ginger here. And I'm going to kind of provide my heat a couple of different ways. I'm going to add some jalapeno, but uh, some crushed red pepper flake. Um, I didn't think to get any of the, uh, like, chili pep, chili garlic or sriracha or anything. So I'm just going to use what I have on hand. Let's get this ginger sliced up. <laughs> what do you think of the knife? What do I think of this knife? Well, it does all right. I mean, it cuts the vegetable okay. Uh, this is not good for for that. No, I mean it cuts great. It's really sharp, uh, but yeah, that's just. It's not meant really for chopping <laughs> vegetables. Okay. Grace says fresh, fresh Howie. Don't know. I don't see that down here much. 
Yeah, we get it while they're it's com it's common here, so Okay, we'll write it down. bit of got a little bit of ginger I'll taste it here in a bit if I want if I think it needs it I'll add a little more and I want that soup kind of spicy so obviously hot and sour so I'm not gonna clean these jalapenos I'm just gonna get just slice them down <laughs> Well, I didn't think it was that loud. Wow. Great calling Eli that chopping you hear has helped keep us all safe. <laughs> <laughs> this knife isn't too bad. spicy. We'll see. You can always add more. Easy. Funny. You know, it's... I found out just the other day when I was cutting the rafters for my new uh, roof extension here that uh, there was this one board and no matter how many times I cut it, it kept coming up short. It was really making me mad. I had to start all over. <laughs> Jessica says, what is your favorite pasta dish and could you make it on the lunch? My favorite pasta dish. Uh, that's kind of a hard one because I like a lot of different pasta dishes. Uh, Pretty sure I could. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, which <laughs> pasta dish I like the most. It's like, wow, you know, I'm rolling through my head here all the different dishes that I like to have pasta in it that would be considered a, a uh, that you would expect to get pasta when served. And uh, well, there's a bunch of them that come to mind. I suppose, <laughs> man, I don't know, it's kind of a toss-up, it really is. Favorite one. I guess when it comes down to it, just the number one that I would eat any old time, I guess would be spaghetti and meatballs. I'll have to, I'd, have, I'd say that's, you know, one of my favorites. The reason I say that is because the components in in that can, depending on how you make it, reflect with uh, uh, raviolis or lasagna. You know, they're, they're all kind of t sort of tied together. She says, "I'll narrow it down." Sorry, like a creamy Alfredo sauce. Oh, I love I love Alfredo. Yes, I would. I've made it. I've made it on the live stream, and I'll I'll be glad to make it again. So if that's a request, you know, I I make some chicken Alfredo now. Greg says, "Old guy, I'm sure I could see the good lady's ears turning red at that one that time." Yeah. <laughs> All right, a little garlic in there. Raptors. The raptors. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of sesame seed oil. 
Go crazy on it. I'm going crazy. <laughs> and a little shot of soy sauce. I'm not going to measure. I'm going to guess probably a couple tablespoons. If it needs more, I'll add it. I don't have rice vinegar, but I do have this uh, white balsamic. And I think it'll be a pretty good match. Not going to add a lot to start. Go with a couple of teaspoons. And we'll go from there. He says, just give me the meat and the cheese pasta. Just gets an eye for most of it. <laughs> well... I really don't mind, like chicken alfredo, you know, made, made with cream and, and real parmesan. And is, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> a little salt, a little bit of, a little pinch of pepper. Speaking of pepper. Different ways. Greg says, Fred, spaghetti bog is my go-to for pasta. Spaghetti what? Bog. B-O-G. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what that is. And Jessica says, yeah, I know. I love so many pasta dishes. I could not choose either. But my all-time is angel hair pasta with Alfredo sauce with hamburger in it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I do like a, you know, <laughs> a good pasta dinner. Great. So the secret ingredient is anchovies. Oh no 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 no. No, that's that's where I'm gonna have to draw the line. <laughs> With I guess there's only one exception, and that's uh, Caesar salad dressing. It isn't Caesar salad dressing without that anchovy in it. But. Okay. Other than that, you won't see me. No. Adventures with Jody's head now. Adventures, sir. Have a good, have a good night. Uh, I will try to check out your next stream. If you folks haven't, bleh, if you guys haven't checked out uh, Adventures with Goat, uh, please go over and check out his channel. He said I enjoyed being here tonight. I am live at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So that's. Okay, so that's right after my live stream, guys. So jet on over and check out his uh, his live stream. So hit his subscribe button. Drake says spaghetti bolognese. Bolognese. Yeah, I think I've talked about that before. Uh, for me, spaghetti bolognese is really just just nothing more than a trumped up spaghetti with meat sauce instead of meatballs. It just... And then you said you wouldn't even know what was in there. I don't even really like anchovies. it. Anchovies. You wouldn't even know the anchovies was in there. Oh, uh, yeah. That's fine. Anchovies as part of something like that, you know, is okay, like in the salad dressing, but to have like anchovies like on a pizza... Or something like that. That's funny because Eli says anchovy oyster pizza. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not thinking so. <laughs> so says, Eli, I'm all over that. <laughs> I am going to add some canned bamboo shoots. As you know, I'm not real fond of doing. Um, canned stuff, but Lisa's here. How are hey, you doing? Hey, time? Lisa, good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm just chopping up some bamboo shoots. Ah, sheep. I'm gonna Jessica. toss it into the soup. Jessica wants to know are you a Coke person or a Pepsi person? She's a diet Coke. Uh, I, 
I suppose if, if I had a Coke and a Pepsi in front of me, I would probably go for the Pepsi first, but I will drink Coke just about as often, if that makes sense. My preference is Pepsi, but not so much that I won't drink Coke. <laughs> they're, they're different. It's like comparing a Macintosh apple to a Jonathan apple. They're both apples. They both taste good. So, so I got some nice top sirloin here. And I'm just going to shave this as thin as I can get it. That looks like a nice piece. We'll go with that for now. Want a little more substance to this. If I'm going to have, I wouldn't say that corn on the cob <laughs> goes with this soup, but I'm going to have it anyway because it's in, in season. <laughs> and, uh, it's delicious, so. All right, I'm gonna put this over here in case I need it. I suppose I should get myself a little tasty spoon. I said a little tasty spoon. Pull out a big old jumbo spoon. That smells amazing. Ooh. <coughs> <coughs> I can smell the, the heat. It went right to the back of my throat. Wow. Greg says, so chat, what's on the menu for Sunday night? I'm for Sunday night. I'm doing a bubble and pork roast with some hasselback hasselback bits. That sounds delicious. It's good. Could it be a little more sour? It's definitely got the heat. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh. Oh. Wow. That is amazing. I'm going to turn this down low. Let that just simmer for a couple of minutes. Because says I'm excited to see how this dish comes out because I don't eat spicy foods, but this sounds this dish sounds good. Yeah, it mm, that sip I got was really nice. Uh, if Eli's heading out. Eli's heading out? Yeah. Eli, thank you, sir, for coming in, hanging out. Even if it's just for a bit. Uh, it, mm, Hope you have a good week. Uh, hope I see you next week. If not, you know, hey, take care of yourself. And we'll see you when you see when I see you. <laughs> Manuel, right. sir? I'm sorry, Manuel. Good evening, sir. Manuel. <laughs> Miguel. Manuel. Man <laughs> okay. -E okay. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Okay. Good. <laughs> so I'm gonna just I'm gonna try and shave this meat just as thin as I can get it. Steve says he'll be at the beach in two weeks. Nice. What what uh, state and what beach? I'd like to hit, see a beach here pretty soon myself. Getting close to the 1,000 sub mark. I'm really pleased with that. So we were talking about hot and sour soup the other day. Uh, since we're doing it for the stream tonight. And, um, it's been qu quite a long time since I've had hot and sour soup at any restaurant. Just because... Um, the, I really didn't like 
the the heat level was okay, but the amount of the vinegar used for the sour just too much for my liking. And I think that was Mrs. Old Guy's issue with it too. Just too sour. Yeah. So uh, by making this and, and being able to control you know, that, uh, this soup is, I can tell already, is going to be a, a lot more enjoyable. Well, I sure hope things get straightened out for you. Oh, yeah, no better. Megan says, mm, hot and sour soup. Yes, sir. Now, the recipes I saw didn't necessarily call for meat. Uh, but since this is my dinner, <laughs> I, want, I want something to chew on other than vegetables. So I'm going to add this beef. And I'm also going to add a little bit of angel hair pasta. So I got a little, a little bit of carb in there too. Steve says he's going to the North Carolina Atlantic. Okay. My brother lives in North Carolina. No. South, South Carolina. Carolina. Jessica says, if you don't mind me asking, can I ask what tattoos you have on your arm? No, I don't mind you asking at all. Um, this is an eagle. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, well, they're like 50 years old now, close to it. But <laughs> this one's an eagle. It's covering a job that some guy did with a with a needle, you know, and it didn't turn out very well. Cobra snake up here. A bobcat here, and uh, this is the head of a dragon. Then there you have it. <laughs> Actually, I think that's the the Chinese dragon. Now, if you ever saw the Bruce Lee poster with the Chinese dragon kind of curled up behind him, it's the the head off of that dragon. Back in the day, when. <laughs> Bruce Lee was still still something you know to talk about he was dead by then but <laughs> he still do legend I guess sink my teeth into some delicious lemon meringue pie. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm not sure I would use this knife all the time. It's Awkward compared if you're used to a chef knife. I was a little skeptical about how sharp the blade would be, but well, it seems to cut them up pretty good. All right. 
too long before we get to eat food. I don't think. Well, of course I don't think. If I thought, that's every time I think, that's when I get in trouble. <laughs> An egg. Give that a good scramble. Greg says old guy looks good and sounds good in spring. Well, uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with how it's pretty happy with how it tastes. Um, but We'll see it after it's had a little more time. Yep, same here. Same thing with the uh, grilled cheese sandwich. Just a plain old American cheese. That's fat. But when it comes to like mac and cheese, I would prefer to use like a combination of things like Swiss and uh, cheddar. And if I can get my hands on some Fontana or even a little mozzarella, uh, pepper jack or Monterey jack for that matter. Yeah. Yummy. Great right. wants to know when the next punch is. Uh, it's still coming. Um, uh, I can say that writing has begun on the new episodes. Uh, it's just going to take a little time, you know. Uh, I'm going to get through. Uh, I, right now, I'm going to concentrate on this opportunity that I have doing this, filming this pilot. Um, I'm super. super Super excited about the even just having the opportunity to work with uh, a professional filmmaker. So great. So that's yeah. There's Tony Schreckel's uh, biography. If you want to read read a little bit about him, uh, I met the guy, uh, the gentleman, uh, I think like four days ago or something. Really nice guy really nice uh, showed me the uh, pistol that I'll be using in this part I play a sheriff in this uh, pilot and uh, showed me uh, a pistol that was worn by Guy Madison uh, back in 1930 or 40 whatever it was when they filmed Wild Bill Hickok so that's pretty cool you know that have some history behind uh, some of the props I'm using. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Rick says, oh, I think I missed some exciting info. The pilot? Yeah, um, I was invited to uh, play a, a character or a role in a pilot written by this guy, Tony Schreckel, who's been in the show business for, you know, forever. <laughs> and um, This uh, would, if nothing else, give me um, a credited role. So if anybody searched, happened to see that pilot and wanted to know who played, you know, the character that I play, they can do that. And uh, that's pretty cool. He's a member of the director, um, American Directors Guild. He's not, he's a member, you know, which is amazing. And, um, like I said, I'm just super stoked to even have the opportunity to <laughs> to work with this guy. So, that said, um, it'll be coming up in, in a few weeks, so I'm going to spend the time studying my role, trying to maybe understand my character. And, um, and so until this project has come and then passed, uh, George and Pudgy writing is pretty, pretty much just going to be on a on a hold for right now. Um, just kind of, I want to concentrate on what I'm doing. So. Here's Greg. Greg says, "Oh, 
Jessica says, mac and cheese for her is Velveeta. That, I grew up on that. Mac and cheese was Velveeta melted in and with a little bit of milk to help, you know, kind of give you a little more swass. <laughs> Scott's here. Hey, Scott. Good evening. Happy Saturday. We're making uh, hot and sour soup. It's cooking, and so is corn on the cob. Not that it goes with it, but <laughs> hope you had a good week. Welcome, welcome. Grab yourself a beer, cold pop, some water, whatever you want. Have a seat. Dinner will be coming up here before too long. It's going to be. Says, wow, wow, Tony, yes. Look at you know, and then Scott said, Congratulations, Tom. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. You know, uh, I ex um, I'm not sure how to how how to say this, but um, I I really expect nothing from this other than just the opportunity to do it, and if anything else happens because of it, it's all gravy. Because <laughs> my expectations on this are you know, pretty based and, you know, I'm not expecting, you know, a, a phone call from, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, Quentin Tarantino just, you know, to play a big role in his next movie or anything. So, <laughs> my expectations are pretty based. Scott yeah. says, I grew up with Max. did that sometimes. Yep, hot dogs. Um, every now and then, um, depending on who made the mac and cheese, sometimes I would put ketchup on it. If it was too thick and, and pasty, kind of, the, the sauce, I would put some ketchup on it to help kind of thin it out. So I tried water a few times and it, yeah, it's just not the same. <laughs> Jessica wants to know what's your favorite beer. Root beer. I don't. I don't drink. So, um, if I have alcohol in my house, which I do, I only use it for cooking. Yep. You know, like I've got a about a half a pint of bourbon up there that. I got saved up for next time I decide to make some make some bacon bourbon uh, jam. Yeah. You know. So. <laughs> he said boiled hot dogs and ketchup was a ninety things for him. Oh man, we used to make. I used to make uh, just ketchup sandwiches, ketchup on a hot dog bun. <laughs> um, peanut butter, jelly, and mustard on just regular saltine crackers. That was a snack. Peanut butter, jelly, and mustard. It's still pretty good. <laughs> Greg says he's gone off beer. Yep. I don't drink beer. I don't drink. Every once in a while, I will have a small glass of wine. But that's not very often. Uh, said he just got back from California yesterday. He had a great trip. His new feed handled the 10 hour drive great. Nice. He's learned a lot seeing new people and places. I feel like we really bond them. That's awesome. So I'm going to give you this spoon with a little bit of broth on it. You can tell me what you're thinking. Yeah, that's really good. Awesome. Well, there's a relief right there. Mrs. Old Guy likes it. So that's, that's a really good start, guys. Jessica says, love root beer. I don't drink either. <laughs> yep. Uh, we, you know, I think somebody asked not too long ago about root beer floats. Love root beer floats. We, we've had, you know, three or four times this summer root beer floats. Yep. Crazy food crew. Crazy. Hey Tom, what cartoon dog likes root beer? What cartoon dog likes root beer? Yeah. Tim wants to know. 
Yeah, there's not very many. Uh, and by the way, welcome, Tim. Happy Saturday. Hope you had a good week. Um, I'm going to have to guess Huckleberry Hound. No? No? No, you, well, what was it? What was the question? What cartoon character? Yes. Uh, can I change that? Because I, 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 I sort of remember Quick Draw McGraw liking root beer. You're just going to have to tell me. Those are my guesses. <laughs> if I'm allowed to or not. <laughs> uh, Scott says, are you a fan of Marmalade? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like I Marmalade. I enjoy a Marmalade peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Marmalade. Made uh, a, a copycat version of the, I think, Fridays. Um, uh, coconut shrimp. That they had a spicy orange marmalade to dip in. Yeah, all oh, right. On a on an English muffin or just on bread. Yeah, orange marmalade's good stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, this looks so nice. Gonna add a little bit of water back into it. Great, right, Scott is the one with the the, the dog named Bear or the Bear dog. Say what? He was, he got Scott and Steve mixed up. Ah. He was talking about it. Jessica says, I can only eat hot dogs grilled. Boil hot dogs make me sick. Um, I like them better if they're, you know, cooked on a grill, but I can eat them microwaved or boiled or whatever. Hey. Here's something you, I don't know if you've ever tried or not, but get your hot dog and a knife and just start making a bunch of little slices all the way down. Don't cut all the way through. Just make a whole bunch of little slices. If you like soy sauce, you put it in a put it in the frying pan, not too high of a temperature. Dump in a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce and just warm your hot dog into that. Wait till the soy sauce evaporates and. You, Get all that salty, yummy, <laughs> reduced soy sauce on your hot dog, and it kind of makes this cool little curl sort of thing. And <laughs> yummy. Scott says, "I love a good A and W root beer float." Mm -hmm. We had specifically that. I think the last yep, time. Yeah, yeah. Jessica says, "And burgers, I only like frying burgers." Uh, I like grilled burgers. Fried. I really want to go to that place. I it's in Tennessee. I'm just trying to remember where. Um, they cook their hamburgers. They basically fry them in in, in hamburger grease. Uh, and after they're cooked, they put a piece of cheese on it. Give it another little dunk to melt that cheese, and then serve it on up. Super famous. I wish I could remember the name of the place. I think it's in Memphis. But I would love to have one of their burgers. And cooked in, you know, they had a big thing where the grease that they used was from, that they're using has some of the grease from way back when they first opened, 100 and whatever years ago. And they moved locations a few years back. And um, they, they had a police escort to move the grease from their old location to the new one. It was a pretty big deal. Uh, I wish I could remember the name of the place. Yeah, I don't remember it. <laughs> Tim said Snoopy. Snoopy? Was the dog that had... Uh, oh, that white root beer? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, didn't know that. I, I did not know that. Well, there's a lot of cartoon dogs that could have liked root beer. Uh, Ruby Doo could have liked root beer. <laughs> uh, Astro on the Jetsons. He, he, there was a very slight possibility. <laughs> Dino. Okay, 
I'm just, never mind. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I never knew that. Now I do. Steve says, when I'm down at the beach, I'm going to try a whole soft shell crab fry and place it on a hamburger bun. Nice. Yeah, I've, I've heard they're really good. Jessica says, one last thing for the night, I promise. No, you're fine. Ask all the way. You should really try clam chowder. I love clam over chowder. Or just plain rice on a live stream. I, I promise no love. I like, I like clam chowder. I, did, I never said I didn't like it. I do like clam chowder. I prefer the New England style over Manhattan. Uh, but, yeah, I love a nice, rich, cre creamy yummy yeah uh, clam chowder absolutely um, the only problem with with me doing that is mrs. old guy just is not a fan of seafood and that would not be a dinner that she would that she would eat so it wouldn't make sense for me to have this live stream and making enough clam chowder for one person. I'm not even sure I could do that. <laughs> so, but, just, but rest assured, I, I, clam chowder, I, I, I like clams. I don't, there's a lot of seafood that I like, but I don't like a whole ton of it. Does that make sense? <laughs> Ralph, sir? Ralph? Yep. Hey, Ralph. Good um, morning, afternoon, early, late morning for you guys in the future. <laughs> the soup is almost done. I'm just pretty much waiting on this corn. I want to make sure that it's cooked all the way. Steve so. said it, oh, it will get darker faster. They were talking about when he goes if it was going to be a cooler place for him to go to. Is it really? I did not know that. Uh, so, yeah, now that you say that, the next time I go to Jersey Mike's, because I love Jersey Mike's, <laughs> um, I, will, I will get a root beer to go along with my Italian sandwich. Because I just, I always get it. I might as well just resign myself to the fact that I'm never going to eat or try another different type of sandwich from Jersey Mike's. Every time I go in there, I'm just going to be tempted to get their number 13, their Italian meats. And that's... <laughs> Tim said, thanks again for the churro maker. It's really cool. We can't wait to use it. Ah, you're welcome, Tim. Yeah, man. When I uh, watched that video and you guys, and you said, well, we'd, I've never had a churro. And I thought, oh, that's that's almost, you know, that that's almost like like movie sad, you know, like almost you know like a, a whole story written around this poor family that's never had a churro. So uh, <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to fix that, and I'm, I'm glad you got it. Um, it's funny I ordered something for me too that night, and uh, you know, it took four more days to get it than you than it took you to get yours. <laughs> Ralph says it's almost midday there. Okay. Now, time for lunch. Do you guys call it lunch? I mean seriously, your midday meal, do you call it just midday meal? Do you call it lunch? You know, do you call it <laughs> Yep, I'll have to remember that. I really will, because uh, I'm fond of root beer. And uh, if they got, I mean, I've reviewed a bunch of different kinds. Um, even a few uh, sarsaparillas, which is a close relative of root beer. <laughs> they don't make real sarsaparilla anymore. It's all artificial. Three 
Bridge says, old guy Ralph is more in the future than I am. Wow. So I have a future and a future future. And yet they both have this amazing ability to look into the past and see what's happened. Because they're in the future. I bet right now he could tell me how well this soup turns out. Because he's in the future. I'm sure he's already seen this. That's how it works, right? Tim said, Vinnie Barberino liked root beer too, but Gee. cucumbers made him queasy. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Oh, kind of funny, uh, uh, Arthur, uh, for those of you that know him, or have seen him, anyway, uh, has been doing a, uh, to help the local theater, been doing a, a, a horror movie night for the last few months, or not necessarily just horror, but uh, uh, what do they call them? Um, public domain movies and uh, the last four or so um, he has had me play some sort of role in a little skit that they have and so this next one is almost the worst film ever made <laughs> it's really bad uh, but uh, it's it's going to be fun. Looking forward to it. Slubby? Slubby? It's here. Slubby? Some meow and vlogs? Okay. First time. Okay, well, welcome to um, Old Guy's channel. Saturday night when I cook what you folks, the viewers, have requested. Um, we write it down. And we put it in a basket, which I need to go get. Yep. Okay. And I give it a little turn, reach in, pull out a paper, and two weeks following is when I cook that particular dish. Next week, we've got steak and potatoes. It can be that simple. Steak, potatoes, and salad. It's the viewer's request. Uh, I also do uh, desserts um, on my community page. Uh, there's always, well not always, <laughs> most weeks there is a uh, poll to see who would like to see the uh, what dessert made, so you cast your vote. This week, hot and sour soup, I'm going to add some beef to it, and lemon meringue pie. I uh, have to make a little disclaimer on the, on the desserts, if they can't be made within a short time and served properly, I'll make them the day before, or if I have to, I can leave some components out and make them on the screen, but that's kind of how desserts roll. <laughs> Whoop, almost tripped over that. This corn's been cooking about long enough. Is that a request, Lisa? What is a request? Cream cheese and broccoli and cauliflower soup in a bread bowl. Okay, yep. Put it on down. That sounds like a request to me. So there is the thinly sliced sirloin. And that's only going to take a matter of minutes to cook. We'll throw in some scallion there, a little green onion, if you were. Ralph says, yep, we call it lunch, but mostly just graze through, throughout the day. OK. Lunch. Okay, Greg says, old guy Ralph is in God's country, New Zealand. <laughs> well, that's good. Slubby says, how are you? I'm sorry, what? Slubby says, how are you? I am doing very well. And where are you from? Slubby, just, uh, you don't have to be specific. You know, just a general area, you know. Uh, we have a couple of people from the future here. Uh, Ralph is from New Zealand. Uh, Greg is from Australia. So 
we definitely uh, welcome the uh, international crowd. A little bit of just pasta in there. Five minutes and we're going to eat food. Yes, yes, yes. Frank says really the good. room with the question mark. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Scott says, oh, Tom, you're always saying to do something nice for someone. My best friend, when I was visiting, gave $400 worth of dog food. Worth of dog stuff. I prayed a professional blowout machine to dry his coat, brush his bowls, etc. Cool. That's awesome. And a little bit of water back into this just to make up for that little thin pasta there. I don't want to, I don't want it to rob me of all my beautiful beef broth. Grace says, old guys, some of us are morning and are both Sunday. Okay. Ralph asked Greg, do you watch Blow Up Australia? The name always makes me laugh. <laughs> Blow Up Australia, that's funny. What kind of show is that, Ralph? Is that like, uh, well, I don't even want to guess. I wrote it down once. So. Strain in this egg. Let it do its thing real quick. Jessica says, that's okay, the main course is the most important. Oh, this is looking good. Uh, Greg says, old guy, the worst film in history, The Room by Tommy W. Quite a cult following. Well, this one is, I don't know, I, I don't know that I've seen that one. But this one is called Plan 9. Plan 9, I believe. I don't know. It's a really bad movie. Horrible. <laughs> There's your, you've heard of your B-grade movies. I think this one would be down there in like the K-grade. <laughs> You know, L grade. Oh. Jessica wants to know if you're ready for fall. She is. Ready for fall? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to be ready for fall because uh, it's just around the corner. Um, I worked all summer and uh, so after today um, I'm, I'm done doing stuff until next spring. <laughs> it's just, just how it's going to go. I'm going to enjoy what's left of the summer <laughs> and try and get out and do some things. and. Uh, it's a script for it, but it don't have the name of it on there. Ah. I thought it might. Project 9 or Planet 9 or... Project Planet 9. That is the name of it. Okay. Project Planet 9. Go ahead and YouTube that. You can, it's, you can watch. It's public domain. So, you know, it's there to watch. <laughs> It's a TV series about balloon sculpting, but you would you wouldn't know it from the title. Ah, balloon sculpting, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, blowing up Australia. Okay, I see. Like blowing up a balloon. Wow. Greg says, "Oh, planet from planet nine from outer space." Yes, maybe that's it. Terrible movie. Horrible movie. And uh, I played Bella Lugosi. There's actually two Bella Lugosi's because actually Bella Lugosi never speaks a word in that film because it's all just some footage that the producer or the director of the movie shot of him before he died. And 
so he just used that. It's a crappy movie. Yes, and I thought this was funny. My newbie went swimming for the first time in a pool. He had a hard time getting out because his coat retained so much water. We what we weighed an extra fifteen pounds, maybe. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet when he shook it made a nice shower too. <laughs> he says he has a habanero plant growing and I'm waiting for one of the peppers to ripen so that he can eat the whole thing. Nice. I think I got some hot and sour soup that's ready to go. Greg says, plant nine from outer space. And Scott wants to know, how many films have you been in? How many films have I been in? Counting the one that's coming up? None. Or, does that make sense? <laughs> one, I guess. Um, other films that I've done... I guess, if you want to count that, but I don't suppose that's what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Now this looks like an amazing soup. It smells really good. It does. Tonight I decided I'd use our deep, fancy... Uh, artisan soup bowls bought down in town a few months back a fundraiser for students I think yeah. like well let's see if I can give you get you guys any some kind of a look here. I don't know to it too. But hey, corn on the cob is in season. Can I see that pork? Can you see that pork? Yes, or mm -hmm. eight pork. Well, I guess. Thank you. Cooker food, plate it up. <laughs> I need a fork. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I better shut up before I get myself in trouble. All right, we'll let that melt and cool down enough to eat. All right, hot and sour soup. Let's get a nice bite full of meat, veggie, broth. has a kick to it. Wow. That's that's hot. Mm. 
it's just right for me on that sour bite, that sour edge from the vinegar. It really kind of augments the the flavor of the heat. <laughs> Lemon meringue pie. Made it yesterday and I can't wait. There isn't, I, I can't think of many pies that I don't like. Ralph says it's pissing down here at the moment. Me and mom got caught in a walking home from the library. Ah. A kind, of man, a kind man stopped and gave us a ride. Well, that's good. Yeah, we had a nice rain yesterday for, I don't know, about half the day. Nice, long rain. Can I see butter, you bet. Thanks. Yep, yep, yep. Jessica says, all right, the moment of truth we have been waiting for. It's very good, but it it's really spicy. It is, it's very spicy. I'm glad I didn't put any more crushed red pepper or jalapeno than I did. Or white pepper for that matter. Mm. 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 Scott said random, but nice thing the first department does is they have, uh, they have back at school event tomorrow where they give out school supplies, medical screenings, and there's fun stuff. I'm gonna go help out. Great. That's awesome. Um, I st we are now starting the planning and whatnot for <clears throat> a first ever in this town spaghetti dinner for the community. And uh, once again, that's I get the local communities together. Not communities, but oh, what are they, Debbie? <laughs> well, like the the local fire department, um, fire district. I mean, the the, the water district. Uh, there's a, a, a food pantry. So I try to get these folks together to do these different activities for the community. And, uh, and I thought, well, the, the pancake breakfast went really well. And I, you know, I thought, well, we need to do a, uh, <laughs> something for the fall and let's do spaghetti dinner. It's not difficult. You know, it's not something that like I'm going to have to stand there and serve people and stuff like that and come and help yourself. <laughs> Jessica says delicious. Thank you very good. Thank you very good. Well, this is really... Scott says what does a sour soup taste like? I've never heard of it. Mm. Mm. Uh, The sour comes from vinegar. And I suppose if it came down to it on the lowest level of sour, you could use like lemon juice, but really it's the vinegar that gives it that, that tangy sour flavor that kind of bounces off the heat. Did you put the egg in it? I did. Did put it. Lisa says, mm. a lim uh, Scott says, lemon meringue pie is one of his favorite pies. Mm. One of mine, too. Lisa says, I would love to eat corn on the cob, but I have diverticulitis in my stomach. I understand. I have diverticulitis, too. That's what. Uh, that's why my gut exploded a few years back. I almost wasn't here now. <laughs> I'm pretty close to dying. Jessica wants the butter because she's out. She says, can you please pass the butter? I'm out. 
No, please, please pass the Buddha. <laughs> Great lump <want> salt. <laughs> salt and butter. That's what's on there. Give it a try. This is uh, a summertime treat for around here because it's uh, a really nice sweet corn. Ooh, it's still really hot. Huh. I'll give it a minute. Wow. I'll get back to my soup. The broth in this is really nice. That was just about the right amount of everything. The soy, the sesame seed oil, the beef broth. Really good. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad I'm okay too. Um, I was. I remember. I was very, very sick. I was vomiting blood. I remember going into the ER. And I really don't remember that night. I mean, kind of I do, but not really. <laughs> and I remember nothing of the next day. I remember the surgeon came in at one point and um, kind of told me what was going on, that, you know, that my colon had ruptured and I was septic and needed to go in for emergency surgery. And the way he put it was, you have two choices. You can go in for this emergency emergency surgery, or you can leave the hospital in a box. <laughs> so, and I'm not kidding you. That's that is word for word what he said. Uh, so, obviously, I made the choice to have him do the emergency surgery. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it was a, a year to recover. Yeah. Yeah, it was a long road to recovery. Tim said, Wild Man wants to know if you can use Al Bundy's socks in the soup for salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I bet I could make a nice coleslaw dressing out of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little Al Bundy sock coleslaw dressing. <laughs> Jessica says, oh, I did hear that you're glad you're okay now. Hmm. Me too. Scott says, wow, that's insane. Hmm. Still have my my issues, you know, but that's what, you know, I mean, when you get older, things start not working so well, so. <laughs> said that her father had something similar to that and had to quit his job. Yep. Well, he was intestinal issues, uh, microscopic colitis, I don't know if you're familiar, but that's what put me out of my career working in kitchens <laughs> and then ultimately put me in the hospital for that time. Scott says it's almost five thirty and my dog is letting me know it's dinner time. <laughs> Craig says it's corn time. Hmm. The so corn here. Wild man just having some fun. <laughs> <laughs> I still think I gave the appropriate answer, though. <laughs> Lisa says, you got that right, Tom. I've never been there. Mm. Mm. Well, says, I'm glad you're okay. Always enjoy, enjoy our chats. You and Rob 
Ralph. As do I, Ralph. No, yeah, Ralph and I have been friends for quite a while. Yes, we have. Greg says, God bless you there, Tom. We love you and the lady and the moo-moos. Hmm. Thank you, Greg. We love all you guys. Come, you know, you, you come here and you you're here every week. <laughs> you put up with my BS. <laughs> Scott says, Tom, can I ask you a dog training question? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm. Yeah, for me, this soup was absolutely perfectly seasoned. Mm -hmm. I didn't need any salt, no pepper. It's spicy, but not too spicy. Right. It has, you know, it's making me sweat a little bit, but my tongue isn't like perpetually on fire. This is really really nice and who was it that uh scott scott was that his request do you oh, remember this yeah sorry i might ask you to ask that question mm -hmm. or wanted to ask a dog question uh -huh. what did you think of the dog training question well <clears throat> Travis, if you're catching this on the replay, thank you for a great dinner suggestion. Yes. Thoroughly enjoying. Had to add a little extra. Mm. Great says, old guy, we love your BS. The flavors, just. First of all, I would, there's, there's really only a couple things that you're, ways that it's going to work, at least as far as I know. If you don't want him to, if you want to play with him with your hands, um, and, and, and you like that kind of play and you want to continue to, with that. You can start with, uh, you know, get yourself a decent pair of gloves uh, so that you're not getting your hands all scratched up and, and whatnot. Then uh, there's ways to teach them not to bite so hard. Yeah. Just yelling out, ow, will do it a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know? Also, if you put your finger at the very back part of their jaw, they're at their mouth, right at their jaw, and force your finger there, it, it'll, it will make them open their mouth and they can't bite down. If they do, they'll bite their, their gum. So that's also a good way to, if it starts getting a little carried away, a little rougher than you want, you know, but it's also just use verbal commands. You know. training. Yep, just keep at it, you know. That, I guess that's about the only thing I can really say. I don't know. I'm not a professional dog trainer by any means. Jessica says, I know I'm new to your channel, but I feel like I already know you guys. It's a pleasure to be part of your channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jessica.
you are felt you know you you're familiar to me because of your you know um, attendance watching Val's live stream and so you know it, it's you know, it's like you just fit right on in. So, <laughs> you know, feel free to ask these questions. And, you know, that's that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing it. You know, uh, for the fun. <laughs> and that's, that's why I do this. For the fun and definitely for the food. <laughs> Greg says, oh, guy, that's some spicy, some spicy soup. Mm. 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 It is really good soup. Mm. Mm. Ralph said, Scott, my neighbor Scott was doing that and it was a problem because he get all cut up after walks and she even wanted to play while well crossing <coughs> the street. <coughs> Doggies will be doggies. Jessica says, LL, oh, let my cat scratch me up. It's okay. And the worst thing is, they're just playing. Mm hmm. I carry the scar or scars on my hands from kitty cats playing with them, um, occasionally pissing one off a little bit too much. <laughs> And uh, boy, you really know those. Ah, ah. <laughs> Scott said thanks for the tips. He doesn't do it 95% of the time, only when he gets super excited. Yep. No well, that's just time. back off for a second. That's all you need to do. If you're getting carried away, just back off and tell him calm down. Lisa said, take your dog to dog school. Mm -hmm. Yep, we've done training with ours. Yep. You know what? You might be able to save yourself a little money. <coughs> There's lots of training videos on t YouTube how to train dogs. Try to find one where they use the clicker method. That's what we use. It works great. So, you know, just YouTube that and start with, you know, with lesson one and just kind of go from there. Because let me tell you, when you go to a dog training school, when you take your dog there, <coughs> your dog learns a little something. But it's you that learn how to train your dog. Yep. You spend the time with the trainer there for an hour or so, then you go home. <coughs> and from then on, that's the new thing. And that, that's one thing that I'll tell you above all is dogs absolutely love routine. They like going on that walk every day. They like going on that ride every day. They like treat time every day. You know, they if there's a, a routine that you have for them, they're in heaven. That's, dogs love that. And that's the type of play that you encourage. My big, my other Chumley, my Chumley Senior, he was a big dog. <laughs> but he, he'd play just as gentle as a kitten. Yep. You, know, he'd grow, you know, he'd be growling like he's fighting a bear or something. <laughs> you know, but he's just ever so gently uh, biting. Hey, J Mart. Welcome, man. I'm sorry. You missed out. There's still some left. We got, I made some hot and sour soup. Put in some sirloin steak, a little pasta in there, along with the veg. Oh, man. 
I ate two bowls after the stream. I'm probably going to eat another. <laughs> and what's on the menu for next week? Next week, steak, potatoes, and salad. Uh, that one was requested by Greg Wells. So that's coming up next week. And that reminds me, real quick, like, let me go grab my, my little basket here. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have grabbed that for you. That's okay. Welcome back, Ralph. Scott said that he'll try the clicker because I used to choke her on my last dog. I don't choke him, but uh, but rats the collar to make a good sound, that, and that sound tells him to stop. Um, easy walk harness works great, and a few walking lessons using you know, the clicking method. Yeah, we use clickers with our dogs. Yep. All right. I'll get this turned around. Speaking of the devil, where are the cows? They are both sleeping. They got to go on their walk today. And, uh, they've been kind of cooped up inside because of uh, my buddy doesn't He's kind of afraid of dogs, and he's really afraid of Chumley. So, all right. So, coming up week after next, Greek Musaska, Muska, Muskia, Greek Mus Mus M O U S S I C A. Whatever that is. Never heard of it. Spell it again. M O U S S I C A. Okay. I have no idea. That was Sean. Got yeah. That we will, because that, that's a total total new one for me. I oh, I hope it isn't. Fishy. Scott <laughs> says, my newbie has a harness and I got him healing just fine. Mm -hmm. Getting a four foot leash was a really the key. Mm -hmm. Jessica says she has two cats and one hamster. Two cats and a hamster? Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. I had a hamster for a, short, for a short time when I was a kid. My dog, he got out of his cage and my dog got him, but. Chucky, my little hamster. Didn't have him for very long. Until you mentioned it, I really hadn't thought about him for a long time. All right, let me finish this last, last few bites of corn. Scott says, oh, well, I wonder what my newbie would do if he saw a hamster. <laughs> Her hamster is a year old. They are cute little things. I've got hamsters and gerbils and I have pet tarantula. He was cool. Timmy Tarantula. He was almost a perfect pet. He didn't make any noise. He didn't want outside. He was super easy to clean, uh, to feed. Six crickets a month, and he was good to go. <laughs> and that says that Lovey is eight years old and he bosses him around. <laughs> This is old guy. Even when he knows that he's, even when he knows that Greg is the alpha. That's right. Yeah, well, they, of course, they're the boss. 
Well, <laughs> when Chumley and Polly were young, they were the boss. I had a heck of a time walking them. And we finally got did the training, and oh boy, is it ever better. Got it. All right, so. It's a little bit weepy, but there is that lemon meringue pie with the nicely golden brown meringue on the top. It's a nice hefty pie. It's got some weight to it. It's going to be delicious. Yeah, it is. So, uh, do, do, we have a, do we know who requested the uh, lemon meringue? Mrs. Sorry, Greg, I don't know where your message is from. Hope I made it. Strong. Hope I made it firm enough. Because it says his name is Kathy. Kathy Lee. Kathy Lee. Taffy? Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool okay. name. Yeah, I bet. I bet they do hurt. All right. Here's your pie. This is old guy. He ain't blocking nothing, Greg, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Yeah, there's, yeah, that's odd. I suppose I should pull the light back out. Time to enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm, lemon meringue. That's nice. That's a nice piece of pie right there. I'm going to eat this in no time. This is delicious. Can you see Mrs. Zildai? Is that truck still out there? Well, that doesn't, I asked if his truck is there. Yes. Okay. Just uh, curious if my buddy was still here. Nate has a request. He says, how about some hot beefy burritos with refried beans, with hot cheese and some Spanish rice, with a fruit punch ger 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 German Jill. soda? kind of soda I've never heard of. Okay. Well, write it on down, and I'll get as much of that as I possibly can. I don't know about the soda, but we will see. Oh, I think I know what kind of stuff. Okay. What kind? Oh, okay. Okay. I can't. The crust. Nice and flaky. The lemon is it's tart and not too sweet. It's just right, right at that level of being sweet enough. And the meringue. Uh -huh. I'm not a huge fan of meringue, but this turned out really nice. Mm. 
You just can't be. Well, I suppose you could. I was going to say, you just can't beat a good lemon meringue pie. But that's not true. I'm sure you could. But few things are as good as a lemon meringue pie. Maybe I'll put it that way. <laughs> a great summertime pie. Mm. Kind of refreshing after that hot soup. Yeah, it is. Says, Yum, drool, so jealous. Please be. Oh man. Scott says, I look amazing. Steve says, I can't be as good as it can't be as good as It's I'm making this piece disappear pretty quick and I'm deliberately trying to slow down here these last few bites. If you got a mosquito bite like right on the end of your finger or on your thumb or something, I hate that. <laughs> Cooper's Media? LOL, that's his idea. I don't like any of that stuff. Cooper's? Cooper. Cooper? H-O-O-P. -O -O oh, Hooper. Well, Hooper. <laughs> Welcome to... Oh. Uh, Oh, well, Nate, you, you dirty dog, <laughs> you don't like lemon meringue pie, hot and sour soup. I did do one for you not too long ago, I think. Uh, the request is what he's talking about. He says, LOL, that's his idea. Oh. I don't like any of that stuff. So you're asking me to make burritos that you don't like. Is that right? Yeah. Is that essentially it? That's essentially it. Tim, oh. He says it's Tim's idea. Oh. He don't like that stuff. I see. So Tim specifically gave me a dinner that Nate wouldn't like. Is that it? Sounds like it. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Cool. Uh, Keep them coming. Lamb broiled, broiled lamb chops with pasta mushroom sauce. Um, I can give a tentative okay on that one. It's really just going to depend on the availability of lamb um, when that gets drawn. And it's not a matter of if it gets drawn, it's just a matter of when. So, um, if I can't find lamb, uh, then I'm going to do pork. And we'll just have to, just saying. <laughs> lamb isn't always available where I'm at, so. Julie's here. We have hot and sour soup in solidarity. Nice. Well, Julie, welcome. Good evening. Now, this is um, Julie. Falstaff. Okay, Falstaff. Right. Okay. Just I, I, my cousin's wife is named Julie, also. So, just making sure to which Julie. <laughs> I am now. I am now speaking. <laughs> awesome. Well, I made a. Ours was beefy. Uh, I, I sliced up very thinly some sirloin steak. Started with a beef stock. Uh, put in everything. Put everything in. I guess you would put in to a hot and sour soup, with the exception of the mushrooms. I know. I know. I can hear you now, but this old guy and I are just not fond enough of mushrooms. So, <laughs> I'm going, this, this is going to be a rare thing, but I'm going in for another, another little piece of this pie. Deb says, yes, I like mixed food, Nate does not, or Nate doesn't, <laughs> So, I guess that means you don't go to Taco Bell then, is that right, Nate? <laughs> You're not a fan of the, uh, 
and Chirito. <laughs> a good Mexican pizza. Well, neither am I anymore. They used to be good, but they changed the sauce on both of them. They used to have pinto and cheese, and I missed that. Pinto and cheese with green sauce and extra cheese. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Jessica says, so Julie, is Val still having his weird cereal? Hmm. I seldom go in for seconds on pies and desserts, but... Mm. This is lemon meringue. It really tastes good. That's exceptional. Of course, it does matter when you're using fresh lemon juice and not the bottle of real lemon juice. <laughs> Tim said Nate and Uncle pick on him for eating Mexican food. Uh, Uncle doesn't like Mexican food either? Uncle, you don't like a wild man. How can you have gone so wrong? Yeah. <laughs> and Julie told her, no, he finished that, and then we moved on to half pot and sour soup. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Nate says, no Taco Bell for me. No Taco Bell for Nate. Yeah. Well, I can still hold out help, hold out hope that you'll like the churros. And that, that's a Mexican, Mexican food. And so that will be at least one that you like. I'd really be surprised if you don't like it. All right. Huh? The pie needs a quad garnish. A quad garnish, yeah. <laughs> if they were more available here, I could have, I would have maybe made a lime quad pie. Yep. But, but they're kind of hard to deal with, to be honest with you. You know, they're they're really small. Hang on a second. I'm going to say goodbye to my buddy. I'll be right back. Mrs. Old Guy will talk to you for just a second. I'm eating. I'll be right back. I guess our friend is going to ruin it. Hi guys, okay. <laughs> Chumley was was uh, vo voicing his uh, uh, yeah his uh, objection. Scott said, "Random Tom, did you have a go-to candy when going to the theaters as a kid?" A go-to candy. Uh, yeah, there's actually like a couple, three, uh, malted milk, 
malted milk balls, milk duds, and fruity Mike and Ike's. Those were my favorite three at a movie theater. Other than, of course, popcorn and a, and a soda pop. Lisa says, my grandson don't like Mexican food, but he loves chicken. Okay. I don't know what that has to do with the other, but... <laughs> she was saying that because of what Tim did for request Mexican food and save it from me. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> Greg said, I would love to hug and kiss him in real life. Almost as much as I would Tom and Good Lady and the Moon Moons. What you must be talking about now? Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. Kiss. I love you too. Give me a kiss. Julie Give me says, kiss. too much work, not enough funniness. <laughs> oh. Greg says, woo, the cows. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Yes, he is. He says, hey, stop making my movie bark, hello. <laughs> what do you think, Chumway? Can you speak? Come on, speak. Scott, they oh, are American Bulldogs. Our rope. Sean on a pack, too. Sean! Hey, man. Welcome. And yeah, it's kind of funny that you're here. Your ears must have been burning. I drew one of your dinner requests. So, and it'll be coming up week after next. And it was, what was it again? Something I've never heard of. Says that cow could be a weapon. It Greek. could. Greek. Greek. Mokesa. Mokesa. I'm not sure what it was, but I got it written down. And uh, so that's coming up week after next. Never heard of it. I uh, have no idea what it is. Don't spoil me. Don't spoil it. I want to find out by myself. But <laughs> so that, but that's coming up in a, in a uh, week after next. So. Uh, you came in at the right time. Uh, we are just a few minutes out of calling it a night, but I do want to say that we have been getting a lot of really good new requests here lately and picked up a, a few new subscribers. That's awesome. Um, another quick little uh, recap of, of the week. Got our roof extension done, all 38 feet of it. Um, <laughs> um, I was invited to partake in a pilot for a new series uh, that, you know, hey, that's awesome. Uh, looking forward to that opportunity. And. Jeez, I think that's it. We don't have, I don't have any more spring projects. I got a couple little tidy up things I'm going to do that none of them will take more than five or ten minutes. And and that's it. I'm, I'm going to call my spring projects finished. <laughs> Scott said, tell is a club. <laughs> what? Scott said that. Tell as a oh, it is. It, <laughs> it beats you to death. It's Jessica, like it's like steel bar. Go ahead. Jessica wants to know: Have you been to Panera's bread? Panera bread? Uh, I don't remember. I know I've been by a hundred of them. <laughs> Maybe not that many, but I've been by, by Panera breads many times I don't recall really ever eating there I think mostly because of the the prices of their sandwiches kind of scared me away but if they haven't changed much they ain't gonna be scared me as bad now because everything is going I can't believe how much they want for that that quarter pounder that McDonald's came out with that spicy quarter pounder thing almost eight bucks for the burger it's like you're it's just insane to me so 
I will eat at Panera Bread at some point. <laughs> I know they have good food. Um, I've heard a lot of my friends talk about them, but have not been. Uh, lately, we've only been to a local barbecue place called Zach's, which is, I love their uh, brisket French dip. It's outstanding. Um, there's a Chinese place yep. called House of Chin that we like to go to that's good. And we finally found a Mexican place, El Tapatio, that's, they're, they're not the best Mexican food I've had, but they are a little above the average yep. of what you get. So, you know, we, we like to go there. Finally found at least three places within 50 miles. <laughs> Well, yeah, lots of rain and wind. I, I heard about that. Well, get batten down the hatches and and uh, keep the doggies safe. <laughs> about said, 106 away from oysters. <laughs> hundred and six subs away from uh, taking the trip out to California and doing a live thousand sub. Uh, video with Val at Trippy Food. And yes, my taste tempting treat of oyster Vienna sausage covered with chocolate syrup and blue cheese dressing. Mm -hmm. Just like Aunt B used to make. <laughs> Oh, I bet it is. I bet it is. Uh, the last chain restaurant that I went to that I tried their mac and cheese, I think was Cracker Barrel. And I wasn't impressed. I figured they would be really good, but it, was, it wasn't very good. The pasta was overcooked and the sauce was like cheese paste almost. <laughs> Lisa, thank you for coming and seeing us on Saturday night. Have a good week there with uh, Mr. Wildman. <laughs> so this might be the first stream that ended at six in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I know, huh? I, uh, I have a tendency to run over. <laughs> but, go ahead. She said, absolutely no, no good reason to go to McDonald's and pay that much for it. Nope. Nope, nope, I don't go to McDonald's anymore. Uh, they have a new burger. I tried their last new burger besides this one, and I'm all done. I'm not going back to McDonald's. I will say they have a nice restroom, and I'll use that when we have to go by. So. <laughs> Scott said he went to his favorite sandwich shop when he was in California. The sandwich used to be, used to cost $17, and that was with extra meat. Now it's $32. It's good, but not $32 good. <laughs> wow. I'd say that's a pretty big price jump. Woo! <laughs> All right, folks. Well, the time is upon us. Or I'm going to give things a wrap up until next week. But I want to say thank you so much for all the new. Uh, dinner ideas and suggestions please keep them coming in this is part of the reason why we do this right well actually the only reason <laughs> you know if it wasn't for you guys watching I'd have no there'd be no reason to do this so I thank you very much um, I sincerely look forward to this every single week and it doesn't matter what's on the menu I look forward to doing it I, look, I like to try and get things planned out I, I, you know, I get excited, you know, well, you know, I can't wait. This is going to be good. And that usually rubs off on Mrs. Old Guy and she likes, she starts getting excited about it too. And tonight was, was no exception. Um, we were excited about trying it. It turned out great. And uh, so I thank Travis very much for the great suggestion. 
they're all good suggestions and they'll all get got to at some point. So I'm going to say, like I always do, please get out and do something for somebody in your neighborhood. Give back in your community somehow, some way, an hour, whatever, okay? I'll see you next week, and you take care. Bye-bye. Okay, all done. Everybody say goodbye.